This message concerns your life on a serious level. So pay attention without any distraction. It makes no sense to worry and think about something that is already over and done. And when we know that we cannot do anything about it anyhow. And this is why today God has sent this great message for you to correct your ways before the 11th hour. God has spoken boldly this time and you should not mock the word of God by avoiding or neglecting them. Now listen to the message carefully and correct your ways accordingly. God is saying, My beloved children, I speak to you today with urgency and love in my heart. The time has come for you to heed my warning and prepare for the eleventh hour. In the Bible, the eleventh hour signifies a critical moment, a time of decision and action before it's too late. Just as in the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, the eleventh hour represents the final opportunity for repentance and salvation before the day is over. I urge you not to delay any longer, for the eleventh hour is upon you. Do not be complacent or indifferent, thinking that there will always be more time. Now is the moment to turn to me with all your heart, to seek forgiveness for your sins, and to accept my grace and mercy. You may wonder why I emphasize the eleventh hour specifically. It is because after the eleventh hour, Things will never be the same. You will remain no more same. The choices you make in this critical moment will shape your destiny for eternity. This is not a time for procrastination or hesitation, but a time for decisive action. Do not be deceived by the illusion of endless time. The hour is late and the signs of the times are all around you. Do you not see the chaos, the turmoil and the moral decay? These are the signs of the times, warning you to prepare yourself spiritually and emotionally. Now is the time to examine your lives and make necessary changes. Repent of your sins and turn away from anything that separates you from me. Seek reconciliation with those you have wronged and forgive those who have hurt you. Embrace love, compassion, and righteousness in all your actions. Do not wait until the eleventh hour is upon you to make things right. Take proactive steps today to align your life with my will. For when the eleventh hour comes, it will be too late for regrets or the second chances. I do not say these words to frighten you, but to awaken you to the reality of your spiritual condition. I love each one of you deeply, 
and it grieves my heart to see you stray from the path of righteousness. But I also offer you hope and redemption through my Son, Jesus Christ. Heed my warning, my dear children, and prepare for the eleventh hour. Do not delay or hesitate, for tomorrow is not promised. Come to me now, and I will welcome you with open arms. I will forgive your sins, cleanse your hurt, and transform your life. Remember, my children, the eleventh hour is a moment of divine grace and opportunity. Do not squander it or take it for granted. Embrace it with humility and gratitude, knowing that I am always with you, guiding and protecting you every step of the way. May you find peace, strength, and salvation in the eleventh hour, and may your hearts be forever filled with my love and grace, says the Lord. So this is what God has spoken for his children. Because, you see, in life, we all make mistakes. But it is what we do afterward that truly matters. God wants us to look back at our past, not to dwell on our own mistakes but to learn from them. If we can correct a mistake, then we should do so. If not, we must seek forgiveness from God and anyone we have hurt. Dwelling on past mistakes only leads to guilt and self-doubt. Instead, we should repent and ask for God's mercy. God doesn't define us by our mistakes. He sees us as His beloved children. His compassion and kindness are new every morning, offering us a fresh start. He wants us to overcome feelings of shame and regret, and He offers forgiveness and a new beginning to all who seek it. As it says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, If we confess our sin, God is faithful to forgive us. However, people of God, God also wants us to learn from our mistakes. Continuously repeating the same mistakes is not what He desires for us. He wants us to grow and mature striving to live according to His will. So, as we move forward, let us keep our focus on God and His plan for us. Let's leave the past behind and embrace the forgiveness and grace that God offers us each day. As believers, true repentance means not repeating the same sin. God offers us forgiveness through repentance because it desires a reconciliation and not punishment. He warns us and gives us opportunities to seek His forgiveness before it's too late, which leads us to self-realization and joy in His presence. Jesus commands us to love one another and forgive as we want to be forgiven. Forgiveness is reciprocal. If we want God's forgiveness, we must also forgive others. And God wants us to deeply understand this principle. The impact of our actions and avoid hurting others as we have been hurt, we should understand it. Taking revenge goes against Jesus' teachings and our identity as the children of God. Also, Unforgiveness breeds a cycle of hurt, perpetuating the pain through generation. 
It is vital to break this cycle by forgiving others, as harboring resentment only leads to further harm. As God's children, let us embody His love and forgiveness, bringing healing and reconciliation to ourselves and others. God knows that by forgiving others, even those who wronged us, we can align with His will and break the cycle of revenge. Believers, forgive now and release the urge for vengeance, because doing so will not only fulfill God's desire, but it will also allow Him to judge those who wronged you. So forgive immediately and completely seeking forgiveness for your own mistakes. Let go of the distress, anxiety, shame, guilt, and revengeful thoughts. Receive forgiveness from above and release the past that distract from God's purpose. Embrace reconciliation in God's love and you will be forgiven. So let us be committed and forget about the past mistakes and focus on the future to correct and rectify our ways so that we can stand with joy and satisfaction before the kingdom of God rather than as a shamed one. For that, we need to repent of our sins and truly pray to God with all our heart, all our mind and all our soul. So without any delay, Let us say this powerful repentance prayer right now. Say this. Heavenly Father, as I come before you today, I acknowledge that I am a sinner in need of your forgiveness and mercy. I confess all my sins, known and unknown, those of commission and omission, those done in thought word and deed. I ask for your forgiveness, Lord, for every time I have fallen short of your glory. Forgive me, O Lord, for the times I have strayed from your path, for the times I have ignored your commandments. And followed my own desires, Forgive me for the times I have hurt others, knowingly or unknowingly, for the times I have caused pain and suffering. I repent of my sins, Lord, and I turn away from them with all my heart. I renounce the ways of darkness and choose to walk in the light of your love and truth. Help me, Lord, to resist temptation and to live a life that is pleasing to you. I ask for your grace, Lord, to cleanse me from all unrighteousness and to renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Fill me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, that I may be empowered to live a life of holiness and righteousness. Help me to bear fruit in keeping with repentance and to be a light shining in the darkness. I surrender myself to you, O Lord, and I ask that you take full control of my life. Guide me in your ways. Lead me in your paths of righteousness and help me to walk closely with you all the days of my life. I pray for those whom I have wronged, Lord, that you would touch their hurts with your love and grant them the grace to forgive me. Help me to seek reconciliation and to make amends where necessary. I thank you, Lord, for your boundless mercy and unfailing love. Thank you for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. I commit myself to you, Lord, 
to live for you and to serve you all the days of my life. May my life be a reflection of your grace and goodness and may others see your love shining through me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now if you want to be a part of our happy Christian family and seeking God's refuge, you must subscribe to our channel and demonstrate the devil that you are a child of God and he won't succeed in his plans ever. Stay blessed.